Hello, my name is Jay, and this is Tech Vault, the news show where we talk about what's new and latest in the world of technology. And first off, I gotta say, Apple, I don't know if this is necessarily a good thing or a bad thing, but they've decided to make a gaming slash professional computer. Now, I put that slash in there, and it's kind of gaming because it's kind of meant for game developers and people that need a lot of video RAM and a really good graphics card. Now, I don't know, I did a little bit of research about this graphics card that AMD is producing for this iMac, and apparently it's called the Radeon uh, RX, or Radeon RX 56 or 64 Pro, which is supposed to be for the IMAX. Um, the 64 has uh, 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory, and uh, the 56 only has eight. But it's not what the typical graphics card has. And you know, I was you know doing research and stuff, and apparently they made this custom card for this these new IMAX they're producing. And these IMAX, in case you're curious on how much to get your hands on a gaming computer, will cost from Apple, which no surprise here is tar starting at five thousand dollars. Just starting at and if you want the everything maxed out, you're looking at about 10,000. And I mean, let's be honest. So first of all, it can support up to two um, two additional uh, 5K monitors, which is going to be really um, stressing on a single graphics card, especially because it's higher than 4K, and a total of um, three different monitors running 5K is going to be very stressing on a single graphics card. So that's a little weird there. Um, another thing, though, is they've also putting workstation processors in there, like the Intel Xenon processors and stuff, which would be really interesting to see how well they perform um, because they're putting like workstation server processors, not like the um, i9 processors, which I would really thought that they would put because it goes up to 16 um, or 18 um, cores is what they advertised. But what I don't understand is that they're putting the, they're not getting an i9. I think an i9 would have been a little bit more, I think would have worked better, but this is my personal opinion there. And then of course we also got to end, the, at the end of this video, we've also got to look at the fan setup submissions and see what you guys have to submit for your builds. We've getting a lot of these, so I really appreciate it. It's a really fun part of the thing to see what everybody else has. And of course if you want to get featured, all you got to do is head down to the link in the description. It's our Discord server. Just head over to submit your setup and it's just post your thing in there with a little bit of specs and stuff and we'll go and we'll review it on the video. So anyway, stay tuned everybody. So for a long time now, everybody knows Apple is not some someone you want to get a gaming computer from. My iMac was probably at the it's probably maxed out. Let's be honest, and it's got a one gigabyte graphics card, which is pretty good for the time of you know 2011 when it was made. And obviously, please don't get me wrong, I got my iMac secondhand, really dirt cheap, and it was not a big issue. But that's not my main rig, and please don't think that's my main rig. I have a PC that I use for all my editing. But point is, I used to, my family used to be an um, Apple person until PCMR came along and kind of shaked things up. And, you know, Apple tends to have uh, a very high um, cut that they like to just add an extra price just because of the brand name. And they say it's because of the operating system. But it's just they like to add a whole lot of extra money. It makes things cost for no apparent reason. Some, I think one YouTuber even went around and actually like, took a default or the lowest uh, model PC, uh, lowest model iMac and upgraded fully, um, upgraded to the full or the highest model and he cost him about a thousand dollars while the highest model there was a difference of like three thousand which just shows that there's a really big price difference for no apparent reason. Anyway, so we all know that Apple does not necessarily the best person to get good quality gaming specs from. And, you know, we take a look at this new iMac, which is going to be completely space gray and a bunch of different colors. They're making custom keyboards and stuff for it. What I really didn't find, though, is that if they're going to make, like, a kind of a gaming... which The reason why I say it's gaming is because the graphics card in there, They've when, when I was looking through, like, their... their what was it? Their posting about it. It said something, like, for game developers to have, like, really quick FPS and, like, loading times and stuff. And I was going, well, necessarily... I wouldn't say that an iMac would be something I'd be gaming on to because a lot of things don't support Mac as their operating system and such. But you get my point. So when I was looking over it, they basically it's like five. They have an option for up to three, uh, two additional uh, 5K monitors. Which don't get me wrong, why would you make a monitor that's 5K when the default is 4K in the industry? Anyway, Apple just wants to be different and a pain. Um, but these monitors basically are just supposed to like add extra, I don't know, extra monitors, I guess, if you really need extra monitors. And the point is, and what I really don't get about this, is that they're only putting one graphics card in here. At least get an SLI. Like, I mean, professional uses use SLI far more than gaming does. And I understand that it's supposed to be a professional slash gaming, like, 
de gaming developer, gaming workstation computer. But like, I mean, that's what the number one reason you should get SLI is because you're going to be using development and something like that. But my point of this is, and the reason why I made like this section of the video and stuff is because AMD has made a separate graphics card as well for these new iMacs that are basically going to be like they're custom made. They're called the Pros, the Radeon Pros or something. I don't know because they they named it like the Radeon. Um, 656 Pro, the Radeon 64 Pro, and I, I was surprised. Why don't you just do the Vega Pro and put it in there because you've already got that card and save money instead of redesigning it. But no, the 64 has 16 gigabytes just like the Vega, um, or the Vega Frontier Edition. And I was like, really? I mean, these cards probably, I don't even know if these cards are going to be out on the public market or not because they'll be, they'll be, of course, very nice. But then again, you think about it, IMAX are, of course, very expensive. So, I mean, it's not that big of a price difference. And so, starting off, you just got to pay $5,000 to get eight cores um, and like 16 threads in your processor, which I was like really confused on because they're going about it and they're putting like workstation processors in there. And those can be really good for like some people that are doing high end video editing, like 4K. But then again, 4K is not something you should be editing on an iMac because iMacs, no matter how good of a process you get, you can always get something better on a workstation PC, which sadly is the matter of fact. Um, next up, we got to look at the fan submissions that you guys sent. Um, sadly, we had a couple. We had a couple good ones, and I don't know. Some of them were really weird, um, but we got a couple fan submissions. So let's take a look at those. Um, yeah, honestly though, I'm um, going back to the iMac thing. I'm still sitting here. I'm like. I don't see a reason why anybody would buy an iMac. I know there's people that are fanboys, but I mean, I feel like that the iMac is something that's more for like people that want to say they're professional and have a whole crap ton of money, but get like a lot less. And I can speak from experience because I've had an iMac and I've had a, a PC now. But I can tell you from both sides, I speak with experience, and I'm not just going about saying that this is trash. I've video edited on both an iMac and a uh, workstation PC. And you can definitely see there's a difference. All right, so first up, look at this first up. It's just a laptop and a mouse. And sadly, we don't even get to see a whole lot of this one. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I really like when you guys submit multiple pictures, so I can actually get a good view of what's going on. Because if you just look at like all you have is just one thing, it's really difficult to like see and stuff. But I mean, it's a, it looks like you got an Asus com, um, computer. We don't even know the specs. And this is like, I really wish like if you guys are gonna submit, put specs down, put the like you know, get a couple more pictures. Um, next person did a, a much a little bit better job, but like you know, you look at this the mouse. I wouldn't say that's a you know a Microsoft mouse right there. I don't know if I would um, be gaming off of a Microsoft mouse, but that's fine. Um, the computer looks pretty slick. I mean, I don't know what the specs are on it, but it does look like a pretty like, cool computer. I wouldn't say it's a gaming computer, but it does look like it's got some pretty slick specs, or it looks like it's got some pretty slick looks, I guess there. And it looks like it's got a keypad too, so it's probably a pretty big computer, I would say. Um, next up, we take a look at this other person. Looks like he has two monitors. I don't know. Oh, he's got a calculator. He's got a remote. Um, I mean, those are all gaming necessities right there. I think he's got a, he's got his calculator, of course, because you need to be gaming with that, right? That's your number one gaming peripheral right there. You got to have your calculator. Um, looks like he's playing some Overwatch. It looks like, and um, let's see, he's playing this off of a laptop. Am I correct? This is off a laptop. Dang man, I gotta say though, if you're playing this off of a laptop, that's a little. Yeah, he's got a, he's got hard drives laying around. He's got um, uh, two is it two computers or just one? He's got like hard drives laying around. Um, like I mean, you're gonna need a random hard drive, right? Just laying around because you know you always gotta need to boot off of that. Um, I don't even know how you set that. Oh, it looks like he's got it set up into his computer, too, so he's, like, got extra. This is why, at this point, I'd probably say sell everything and get a desktop, because desktop and consolidates a lot of this stuff, because I can guarantee whatever's in that, whatever graphics card in there is either you paid a whole lot more than you should have for that laptop, or you have, uh, like, a 1050 in there, and that's not going to be able to handle too much FPS. I mean, some games will run fine, but if you're playing something at, like, 4K, I mean, it looks like just 1080p monitors, which should be fine, but, I mean, still, some of these, some of these, anytime you get off of a laptop, I've run stuff off of laptops, and I wouldn't recommend it. Um, this one is actually the, the one, I don't even, I haven't even run, run stuff with this, and this has a Quadro in it, I don't understand. This is, like, an old Quadro, it's a really old computer, but still, I use it, it's not really an issue for me. Um, but I mean, this is why I, I wouldn't be gaming off of this. My brother tried gaming off this, and it what, didn't end well. So just my point is, it's not supposed to be for gaming. It's more supposed to be for like you know using it on the personal use or using it for what I use now. 
But um, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. And if you want to submit your rig, please go ahead and do so. Make sure you just submit a couple more pictures and tell us a little bit about it. And of course, we'd like to see you guys again here tomorrow for another video. Uh, I've got some really hype stuff ready to go, so um, we'll see about that. And I also might want to work on some modding, some videos as well. We might get a modding section of the show, and we'll see what we can do about that. But thank you all for watching. Hope to see you guys right back here tomorrow. And uh, I guess we'll see you tomorrow. That was a lot of tomorrows. Oh well. But thank you all for watching. I guess that's all I can say.